Well fam, quick little update video. So, you guys know that the white fur shen has been having a high idle issue to where it's almost like not even a high idle issue. It's like a throttle issue, high idle issue, whatever. You start the truck up, it's idling and revving over 2,000 RPM is what I'm guessing. You can't see an actual tack on it, but I'm guessing it's over 2,000 RPM. I mean, it's screaming. You can't drive the truck. Now, it's been sitting for so long that it would be a cold start and it's pretty cold outside right now. So, we don't want to start the truck up and the truck be running and idling at like over 2,000 RPM and it hasn't been raining in a long time and then has issues and everything else. So we're having the truck actually towed right now. It's getting taken over to a shop that's gonna fix the issue so we can drive the truck under normal conditions so that it can be taken to paint and body and finally get fixed. So right now, they're gonna be here in just a minute to tow the truck off and I'm gonna try to get as much as I can of that on video. Loud and proud crowd, it's actually the next day. The first gen did get towed off because it's idling way too high, slash revving way too high. So that needs fixed. Funny thing is the guy that picked up, he's like, hey, I've picked that other truck up before. The brakes went out on this one time, the master cylinder. And so that truck, he also has towed in the past. He's like, that's kind of funny. He's like, that's, uh, that's Dr. Joel's truck, right? I'm like, yep and it's sitting over here. But anyways, um, we have a couple of things to do. I gotta go pick up new batteries for the maroon truck, the red truck, and we've also got to possibly pick up new leather interior for that truck. I can't promise you that today, but that's the goal. And then I've also got a couple other appointments for that vehicle up in Churubusco. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Let's go for the day. Okay, well, we are in Big Blue right now, and we are about to take the Longhorn project to Devin. Devin, the guy that does all the suspension work for us, and now he's going to be doing our tint. Pretty stoked about this. So Devin's gonna be working on tint. And you know, I'm just gonna let him do it. I'm just gonna let him go through everything. She's seen rain with the new paint. Regular cab made it, but stupid. <laughs> uh, let me show you something. Exhaust popped off, so I had to pull over. I tied a couple rags together and tied it out of the way temporarily, but that was fun. He ain't got no bumper. <laughs> Where's your bumper at? Right there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm ordering a new bumper. What's up, bud? Oh, you know. No, I'm ordering just, a new uh, bumper. That thing is good. Just bringing you more stuff to... I don't know. Have you seen that, what company. I've done lately? No, I saw it when I pulled up. Yeah, that, so that's a, uh, actually the torsion, well, basically a leveling kit. Yeah. And uh, spaced the bumper out and cleared. 12 wide to 33, 1250. No cutting, no trimming. That's pretty good for a GM truck. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. So what do you think about this? I think it's sweet. Maroon. I think it's second sweet. gen. I like it. I'm gonna have to make some room in there. So I drove this here. Stock suspension, 35s and 22 by 14s, and I didn't rub at all. What? It only rubs once I do over one and a half turn. Okay. So. Yeah. But like it clears just as much as my wife's truck did on her leveling kit. That's what's crazy. Are these Reagan's wheels? Yeah. Yeah. 
That looks good. I just got off of work. My my wife idiots. beats me. I was from like, no, no. like Nacho Libre. <laughs> Nacho <laughs> Libre. <laughs> that was my inspiration for the mustache, man. <laughs> <I> can, <laughs> was it really? Oh, no. Oh, like, no, but I tell people that because oh, it's God. funny. But anyway, so, Devin, can you explain to them what all you're going to be doing on this? Well, to this fine truck. This fine uh, piece of art. Fine. This is like a unicorn. Right? We just <laughs> scrolled through the horrible, horrible pictures of before I was debating buying it, I was like, oh man. I was actually talking to you about it. I said, Devin, there's this truck over on Speedway. I'm like, it's in rough shape, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. And then I ended up buying it, but. Yeah, here we, I told here we you. Are now. Yeah, cause you're like, man, I don't know if I want to get that deep. And I, I was just like, don't know until you try, just get it. <laughs> do it, turned out good. Yeah. We are going to, as in we, me and my buddy that I do a lot of stuff with now, gonna be doing, Front control arms, your upper and lowers, mm -hmm. because we're gonna put the leveling kit on, your three inch leveling kit. That's just gonna make it so the axle sits a lot better. And also, um, those ones are fully adjustable. Okay. On a big brass nut to where okay. you can extend them as much as you want. Gotcha. And well, then they lock just, into place. I'm gonna put them, uh, I'll just read through the directions because I believe it's like an inch, an inch past factory, eyelet to eyelet center. Okay. Since we're going up three inches, you'll wanna go an inch because every okay. inch is, um, just a couple, a couple like quarter inches, um, but we'll get that. I'll get that figured away. But then we're gonna try and do clear ball on some of this and everything, just so it saves the paint a little bit better. And then um, we'll do it to both sides and possibly the whole the whole rocker and then the back of the bed and then uh, just mostly where you'll get a lot of stone chips driving with something wider. And then, uh, Something about the fishbowl. People keep complaining about the fishbowl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this thing <laughs> definitely is a fishbowl. Definitely. I know you wanted 5%, but we did a kid's truck 5%. Literally every window in his windshield 5%. We said we would never do 5% again. Like it was, it was terrible. Like we just don't want to get in trouble. So that, that truck out there has got 5% on it. You have to put it down to back it's, up. Oh, geez. You know the kid that had that white truck that looked like Frosty you did? Yeah. He sold it to buy that truck. Oh. And then I oh, yeah, bought yeah. that He's, truck from him. Yeah, he sent me pictures of it and everything. Yeah. And then I was wondering why he was selling it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that truck. Because <laughs> at first I thought it was his brother's and then he was like, no, we sold my brother's. Yeah, he did. His brother had one identical with yeah. his black, not navy. Yeah. I was like, dang, that's crazy. We'll tip the front windows 15%, uh, the back windows 15%, and then come down Probably a little ways and go 15 across the brow. I mean, it'll still be dark enough and everything yeah. you won't see in there. I mean, people will see your hand going through, but they really won't see much because it'll be so dark. So once you put the seats in, I don't think you'll be able to see them. You'll be surprised, it'll be pretty dark. Anything will be better than what it is right now when you're yeah. going down the road. That's the plan. So when we get this thing back, I need to drop him off the leveling kit for the front. But day. other than that, it's gonna be much, much better when we pick it up. Yeah. And then when we should, actually, I might also be able to Monday, then bring those leather seats over too. Yeah, as long as you have them, we can throw them in. And bring them over in the truck and plop those in there. The next time you'll see this, when you go bring the leveling kit, it'll it'll look a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll, it'll look darker with some shades on it. <laughs> of this video being filmed in the last three days and this is going to probably be um, one of the best small parts of the video for me so you guys know how we did the taillights on this truck right okay the tubular LEDs 
We did the front lights on this truck, which were also tubular style, LED surrounding, which, by the way, look at that color matching job. I mean, other than it being filthy right now, in terms of mud, um, it's just, he did such a good job. So, uh, but we're gonna do something that I kind of forgot about. It was a part that I really kind of forgot I had. It's kind of handed to me by my wife. She's like, um, what is this? I'm like, oh, another part. We have a third brake light. I did not realize we had. So we're gonna get to installing that right now. And this is going to be the one last piece of the lighting accessories to top off the look of this truck. Take a look here at what it looks like not turned on. So not turned on, you've got kind of like that same, it'll focus, it's not wanting to focus. You got the same tubular LED fashion, just like you do, well you can't really see it without the lights on. But let me get the lights turned on here and see what it looks like with that on. The tail lights are on. Let me see if I can get the cargo light on here. Pretty sure it's this switch down here. Wait, no, 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 my bad. That button right there might do it. Yeah. So, well, no. <laughs> That's probably the, the brake light version. So, those are the LEDs on there that kind of shine into the bed for kind of like we're helping, you know, assisting reverse light and slash bed light. So in terms of the other ones, I'm not sure how they kicked on. They might just be a brake light. Well, what it do? Comment down below. Well, everybody, that is officially going to put an end to this video. But thank you guys so much for watching and do not for get if you want this truck i think now you're down to the last 48 hours to enter to win this truck so if you haven't done so yet and you want to have your shot at winning either this truck or the 9612 valve five speed we call frosty which also comes with five thousand dollars cash if you pick that truck you guys are running out of time last 48 hours when you see this video if you're seeing it when it goes live the same day if you want to get entered get entered now if every five dollars you spend is another 10 entries to win if you want to do the math in terms of how many entries you got let me do a quick example for you guys you spent a hundred dollars right you spend a hundred bucks you divide it by five you get 20, of course. Then you're gonna take that 20 and you're gonna multiply it by 10, which would be 200. Just as an example, take your order total, divide it by five, take the number that you come up with once you divide it out, and that number, multiply it by 10, and that's how many entries you're gonna get towards winning this truck or the 12 out five speed. Thank you guys so much. Do not forget to enter. Information is in the description below. It's very simple. Choose your favorite item or items, check out. You're automatically entered as soon as you click pay now and check out. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.